Hey everybody, what's up? Devin here, back with another video. Today, we're doing the Ender Crimson Showcase. Now, this is a pretty cool stand. Thanks to my boy Speed over here for letting me use it yes, for this video. I, I, yes. So, I let him use my man on Hallow's Eve. Um, so, anyways, I think it's one of the really, you know, cool looking stands. Let's get into the video. Okay, so this move is called the Potent Blow. It's basically just E. You hit him, it does a lot of damage. So, it's a pretty damn good move. So the next move is called Severing Shop. It's basically just, you know, an arm move, but it doesn't do as much damage. So there's that. So the next move is called Future Sight. You press T and no one can attack you. So try attacking me real quick. You can't attack me for 10 seconds. I can stand here, but as long as, long as my eyes are glowing, which you cannot see them unless I'm zooming in. Now you can't attack me, so try hitting me now. Okay. Uh... See, now I take damage. I see. Pretty OP moves, if I do say so myself. Yes, so. they're big OP. Big. Big OP. The only problem I have is uh the dur the durability is, like, so bad. Yeah, that's... The I think that, actually, I I'll get onto that at the end of the video. I actually think that's really good for King Crimson, and you'll see why. So, I'll explain that later. So, the next move is called Brutal Kick. It's basically just, you know, one of those kicks that launches them up into the air. So, but, I mean, it instantly killed him. So, okay. <laughs> so, this next move is called Piercing Thrust. You just press H, and it does a, you know... A lot of damage right there so it's a pretty good move if i do say so myself if i did do so this is the f move which is time erase you press f and you are now no one can see you except for gold experience requiem and next move i'm going to show you real quick is the j move so you press j in time eraser it basically it does like half health on stands with good durability but um since he has a B in durability or a D in durability, it did a bunch of damage. So this move is called the Racer Shift. It's basically just a teleportation move. You just teleport around, you press V, and boom. This is your tele you're teleporting around. And since that was the final move, let's get on to the 1v1. Alright, go. Alright. I, I oh my god. I have to stay away. Because he's gonna keep using it. He can see me. I know he can see me. I know you can see me. Heck, no! Alright, he won. So, overall, I think it's a pretty good stand. It has an A in destructive power, an A in speed, and an E in durability. Which, for one, it focuses on the source material, which is really good. I like that. And I think it makes sense because most of its moves are knockdown moves. So if you hit them, they're in ragdoll. So, I mean, having an and durability kind of balances it out because any move it hits you with, you're ragdolled instantly. So it's really just a ragdoll spam. But overall, it's definitely like my top three favorite stands in the game. It's really cool looking and I really like the idea of it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave, leave a like and sub if you're new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.